And we're back for Dark Dimension 7 Node 3. It's probably going to be a separate video, uh, but this was obviously filmed on the same day because I did want to get these characters in. Now, uh, we ended node number two uh, like this because I died with these characters here. Brought, I kind of did a little, little bit of coring, not much. I think I, I, I healed two or three of them. And my cooldowns are pretty good. So maybe, but they're kind of injured. Those two characters are kind of injured. We're going to see what the starting wave is with Red Hulk. And uh, that, this looks kind of nasty. But we'll see. Maybe it's doable. We get the Mega Gold Orb at the end of that. I'm not really care. I don't really care much about the Mega Orb and 25 more G19 mutants. Honestly, I have a lot of mutant minis at this point. Like for global, I think what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing Sunfire, um, Sunspot, and Forge. And those two, I think I'm going to have to skip Gambit, which is crazy, but I, I need the Osmium for Ball. And unless there's a Strike Pass, this going to include Osmium, which would be surprising. I don't think so. Unless there's a new character with Osmium, which there isn't currently. I don't want a core to heal. Hoping that P Peter stays alive long enough he can heal himself, maybe, when he takes his turn. Everyone else is pretty good on cooldowns, though, so this should be okay. Hopefully Vulture can go first. I think I have all my cooldowns as well with Vulture, so I might be able to turn bar rewind. We'll see how, how it looks in here. All right, let's uh, let's jump in here. See how it looks at the start. And we got thirty-five characters. That's a lot of buffs. That's a lot of speed ups. Holy shit! And some safeguards because so this must be bugged, right? Because Apocalypse is supposed to block people from spawning with safeguard, and I think this has been reported already. Also, because I'm not using Guardian, I don't get the spawn offense up, which is what I was hoping I would get, actually. I think I'm going to go over here. It, I it cannot be dodged, right? So I kind of want to put that down over here on, on Nightcrawler, right? Right? I think I'm gonna, maybe on this side, actually. This one over here. We do have two heroes, two villains, which is nice on, on this version, and we're going to be able to do it again. Use the skill again over here. Flip defense up. Uh, Yeah. Over here, it's a lot of damage, and flip some of these other buffs too. I'm gonna hit him again, actually. Flip those other buffs that he had, please. Yeah, go go the other way. No, I didn't want to really want to go that way. I'm just gonna start getting charges. Okay, well I can put the slows down on this side, right? Over here in the middle. It's a lot of targets. Actually, avoids hitting the red hulks. I'm trying. Okay, so now it now it went away. Oh no, the safeguard went away on his turn. So yeah, it's so fucked up. I don't know how, why it does that. We we need to put ability blocks. Oh, we lost we lost Black Knight. <laughs> okay, this might once he gets his charges, things might start to fall apart. And I don't know if I really have the ability blocks. I might have a, a special here on on a, on Apocalypse. So that could be a thing there. Actually, no, we do have another one over here. We could do this. Okay, over here. Cool. We, yep, we can get rid of the bus as well. So I just need him to take his turn over there. And not kill everyone, please. I thought I had cooldowns on Apocalypse. I swear I had cooldown. I, I swear I was good to go. Was I not so good to go? Let's go down the middle here on Castrol. Extra damage there. Disrupt offense down. Uh, uh. I'm actually just going to use the offense downs, right? Do they all have offense downs? Offense. There's a lot of offense downs over here, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. I don't want to touch that Red Hulk. I don't know if there's anything I can do before he goes. I don't know if this is really going to do much. I'm, I don't know why I did this, honestly. They all just disrupt, but. There's a good, a good amount of damage spread here, but the, these, once they get their five charges, this one I over here. Actually, you know what? Oh, we can ability block. Maybe we can stop them. We can stop them for the moment until we get rolled over pretty soon afterwards because they're all going to have five, five charges. 
Oh, he still went anyways. Did we fail to land the ability block? That's what it looks like. Good God. Okay, can we like finish someone off? Can we one shot? Please kill Icarus, please. Please. Please just kill one of them, the Eternal, so they don't have their dual benefits. Cool. I'm happy. Crestle's dead. I'm happy. Should be a lot better, but I mean, hey, can't complain really there. We're going to have Guardian next time. I think Peter B is going to get chucked out for the first attempt next time. Anyone else? Maybe we can might as well at this point do... Who else is in the node? I mean, I, Cersei can... Cersei can, can cleanse, so maybe I just don't want to do that. Maybe I can... Both Super Scroll and, and they're still alive. You know, I might as well use the skill, right? Hard to see what's going on here. I kind of want to get rid of the Extreme X Man. I know Red Red Hulk is definitely a threat, but I don't think I'm going to be able to like one shot any of them. What if we got rid of the the Hulk and no no we need to do maximum damage. I mean, I don't like the newer. I don't like newer characters. I feel like I can like. Yeah, let's just do that. Right. Cersei tried to cleanse, but they all had trauma, so it didn't matter. Yeah, more extreme X Men. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Exactly what I thought was going to happen. Sunspot does not have any charges, so therefore he's not going to give anyone else stuff when he respawns. But this is exactly how Sunspot works in raids and in Dark Dimension: is that if he starts getting charges, then he's going to give the energy to the rest of the team. I'm probably about to die here, anyways. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Good first attempt. They're fairly weakened, so I'm happy with that. I think uh, the Red Hulks. Hope I don't back myself into a corner. I didn't really check uh, to see what's coming down the line. If the Red, Red Hulks obviously need to go, that's the it's just the Extreme X Men also can't stack up. I I don't like the the added synergy by letting them stack up. So. <sighs> Is there more Red Hulks further? No, okay, so it's just more Extreme X-Men, actually. Another Hulk. So it's kind of balancing dealing with the Extreme X-Men, like the Nightcrawlers. Are there more Nightcrawlers down? There isn't, actually. So I'd rather just get rid of the Nightcrawler and the Sunspot and then start working on uh, the Red Hulks, I think, is how I would approach this. Obviously, having Gambit down now is not going to be fun. There is another Sunspot? Yeah, okay. It's just those are the biggest issues, I think, for Extreme X-Men. I think, like, I'm okay with just fighting Forge. I, I don't like Forge potentially reviving, but we'll see how this goes. That's a good first attempt, I think, uh, for Mission 3. I don't really have all five of my city characters at this point anyways as of recording, so I can slow this down a little bit. That's it for everyone uh, for this one, and we'll see you on the next one. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Boylon here, back. For another run of Dark Dimension 7, we have attack number two here on node number three. Now, the big question is, I guess, you know, based on what happened last time, and I left those Red Hulks up, what character should I be using in my fifth slot here? Or even the, you know, the three. I For the amount of, it's definitely Nightcrawler, right? Like, you can't, I'm using Nightcrawler. But as far as the other characters go, I don't even remember what my cooldowns were. But I do like Guardian because of his on-spawn offense up. And I think that actually goes really well with uh, Super Scrawl. You know, basically making sure that he has offense up on spawn. And so if I do want to go into his ultimate, if I have it, you know, I can do that. And uh, same with some of my other characters who will get bonuses for that. Vulture's obviously pretty good for being able to land those slows, but it is only adjacent targets. It's not AoE. Peter is not bad, but I feel like, you know, he has good hit points, actually, now that I have him at 5-5. Five, five. But he's probably a lot better with that Spider Society team. He does, the offense down is nice. I feel like the slows from Vulture, because the only other slows that I have on this team right now is Nightcrawler's alt, which is pretty high cooldowns, I think, on his own, in terms of being able to get that many turns back. So Vulture does be able to use that special quite frequently, I think, and with the turn bar reduction is, is pretty good. So we're going to see, I don't know what my cooldowns are like. We're, we're going to take a look here. Whether or not Guardian or Vulture is probably the best bet here in that slot. I don't think Peter can really heal the other characters that much. Because it's mostly like Hero Spider-Verse, I think. 
So we'll see what's going on here. We do have the special. Actually, we do have the ability to block in the next turn where we have the alt. As far as who should be blocked, um, you know, the, what's really interesting here is that in the very first attack, we had a problem with Red Hulk not having, or uh, Red, Red Hulk having safeguard, but it doesn't seem to be that way now, you know, after the node's already been done. So I don't know why that bug exists here. I'm either wanting to block Nightcrawler or ability block Forge. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Forge hasn't done any of his skills, if I can remember what happened last time. So we're going to go like that, I guess. Now, when I had Vulture, though, that was also two villains to fulfill the criteria for... I and mean, we do have the alt, actually, so I might do that. We had two villains to fulfill the criteria for Super Scroll, for extra damage on his alt and things like that, which was quite nice. I Oh, that's not nice. Okay! Now we know that we need to ability block Nightcrawler would have been the better bet. So let's try that again. Still, I think I'm still going to use. Or actually, I'm going to I'm going to try Vulture. I'm going to see what our skills are like for Vulture. All right, we're going to be dropping back in here. And yeah, I do like the on spawn barrier as well. The, the Guardian gives, but we're going to we're going to give Vulture a shot. I don't remember where his cooldowns are at. And now we'll have. Two villains, two heroes to fulfill Super Scrolls conditions. So I think that might run a little bit better. So we're going to, he is going to go first. So we can go over here actually and apply quite a few of those slows, which would be good. And then we're going to block Nightcrawler over here. I think stop him from doing that ultimate. I think that should be okay. Cyclops is on the field though. And what that means is that if any of the X-Men die, Forge is going to get a shit ton of turn bar, right? <sighs> But I do want to. I do want to stun these guys. But I'm gonna do the alt, and I'm hoping that Nightcrawler can get back around to stun Forge or something like that. I think is my my plan. I don't want to kill Nightcrawler too quickly here. A striker, but I'm also very conscious about Red Hulk. I don't like these Red Hulk stacking up. Who did we kill? We killed regular Hulk. Um, I'm going to ability block Red Hulk over here on this side. Let's stun him too, maybe. Okay. We're going to try and get Forge down. We can't. He's got a lot of hit points, though. That's kind of a big problem, I guess. Into the ultimate on this side for damage. That red Hulk, that one red Hulk's almost dead though. Hope we don't accidentally kill Nightcrawler. We can get a stun on him. We didn't get an ability block on him, so that that should be helpful there. Does this give me charge? No, it doesn't give me charge. Right, that's from the basic. If charged. Oh, he doesn't get more than one charge per turn, right? Well, am I just dumb? And I thought that he did. I don't really. I'm going to hit him once. That's going to be unfortunate. So let's go uh, and just do extra damage on Forge, I guess. Oh, we killed Red Hulk. Okay, cool. And I'm going to yeet. I'm going to yeet Forge, actually. Maybe I should have done it on Red Hulk, but he's only at four charges. So maybe I haven't triggered the... Triggered his alt yet? I mean, if I can get through this without anyone doing their alt, that would be great. Great. And can we... Oh, no. Okay, we're stuck. Forge is down, so we can start eating these extreme X-Men, and that's fine, I think, too. Some good damage here. A couple of people with turns I can't really see. Mm, oh no, he got his alt off. That's unfortunate. Now he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Oh shit, the striker killed Black Knight. Big oof. And Red Hulk's at like one charge from getting his uh, five charges there, I think. Hmm. 
I don't know if I want to do the alt because I think that's going to push him on his charges and I need to get an ability block or a stun on him somewhere. I can. Oh, there we go. We can do this maybe. Okay. All right. Now we can do this. All right. I'm okay with that. Hulkbuster's dead. Oh, wow. Okay. Just got yeeted off the screen. Flip that offense up. But we're going to go over here. Gambit sucks. Can we, he's got a lot of hit points, too. Getting my abilities flipped on me. Great, 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 great. Oh. Oh, he's still alive, too. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Just die, Gambit. And my apocalypse goes down. Okay, cool. I'm going to start saving my cooldowns, I guess. Can we kill him? No, so close. Okay, can Super Scroll kill him, please? Oh, my God. Come on. Okay, can we kill him? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, there we go. Uh, now, unfortunately, Red Hulk, can he, if he, oh, no, no, never mind. We just went into straight into the striker mode and one shot my characters. I hate the fucking, the Dark Dimension striker attacks because they just do so much damage because they have like well over 10 million hit points like per character. And so the percentage damage is just, it's, it's bonkers. It, you're dead. You, you're basically dead. You get hit by a striker and you have vulnerability and you're dead. Like there's not much you can do. Either way, uh, what did we get on this one? 220. Oh, it was about the same as attack number one. So I could do this in probably four attacks. I'm lucky. It's actually pretty good. I still have these two characters left over, though. And I like maybe. Oh, God. I'm like, can I do I do I need to like I'm not, I'm not close enough to. S I have like three characters for the city, so I can't really start it yet. So I'm not going to refresh at this point, but uh, we'll be finishing this soon. So thanks, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey everyone, we're back for another recording of Dark Dimension 7 here on node number 3, doing attack number 3. We made quite a bit of progress in the last two attempts. Now, I'm really liking this Nightcrawler Vulture version, and that's mainly, I gotta say, it's mainly because of the two heroes, two villains, which fulfills for Super Scroll. It does make him a little bit more powerful here. The only alternative I would maybe consider doing, and I might this run I might end up making him a fortifier would be because I don't want to consume too many of the uh, vulnerabilities would be maybe to take Black Knight out for Guardian to give that on spawn offense up and barrier to the rest of the team Vulture is a little bit squishy at this point in time Peter has served his early node usefulness but I think some of the other characters are just a uh, touch better I think in this combination and Vulture is really important to you know Put out slows because I don't really have very many characters that do slow other than Nightcrawler's alt, which is not always around for me when I need it. So we have a little bit more to go for node number three. As far as my progress goes, I am honestly just shy some skill minis. And I think I'll be able to go into city because I really want another I want I want four spire society. I'm being I'm being one of those people and I want four spire society characters to go in with. But hey, let's go in with a stun for the healthy Red Hulk. Maybe we can down this other Red Hulk. I don't know. Can we get... I'm going to go for an ability block over here. Just because I'm going to get the adjacent attacks there in the turn bar rewind, which I really want. And then we're also going to put out some speed downs over here. So that's what I'm going to do. And then... Thinking... Hoping that Hulkbuster does not actually have. Uh, I was going to say we could just block him, I guess. Hoping that he didn't have any. I don't know what skills they're at. I haven't really been tracking these characters. So let's try and kill that Red Hulk. Oh, not quite. Not quite. He's not dead yet. And now he's dead from the retaliate. We forced to retaliate, actually. Uh, I know there's more extreme X-Men coming, but I also want to take advantage of the amount of debuffs that Vulture has, and he's stunned, so he's not getting charges, right? And 
I don't know if I really need to use the alt here, but I'm going to do it anyways. While we have the offense up, because that does do a lot of damage. I know there's a lot of extreme X-Men in this node, so I really don't want Sunspot stacking up. But I want to do some adjacent damage on the Red Hulk. Get some extra bleeds out while we can, and since he's stunned as well, he's not picking up any charges, which is nice. So we're going to try and do more of that onto him. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I was, was going to say ow, but no, we're okay. I'm going to go over here with the basic. Basics are fine on Apocalypse because of all that bleed and drain. All right, we're back on Red Hulk, though, but maybe he's almost dead. Almost now he's dead, actually. There we go. Okay, we're fine. Sunspot's down. We're fine. New wave is probably going to drop imminently, if not like now. Maybe we'll just spread some damage around a little bit before the wave happens. I don't know when the wave's actually going to happen. Oh, we got a taunt. Taunt on. Go to flip that, though. That's fine. We're fine. Hulkbuster might do something over here, though. Oh, he's going to barrier everyone and put a slow on my character. So thanks. Looks like we're, it doesn't. Oh, he's spamming the alt. Ooh, OK. I got some debuffs. That's not super great. So do they. So I think we're not moving on until they die here. Spamming that alt, right? And he's not, this guy's not slowed. So we're just going to try and get him dead. There we go. Our debuffs are cleared. Get Hulkbuster down. We're good to go. There we go. You wave. And of course, there is an Apocalypse who spawns with Safeguard, but I guess because it's the weird interaction that goes on over here. Anyways, we're going to go over here We'll do because I know Philo Velk can cleanse. And I guess we're just really wanting to get rid of can we do enough damage. I don't even know if we'll do enough damage to that APOC. Like, I don't know how we, we deal with this exactly. I can't slow him. I can't clear that. So I'm just going to go like that. But I think that's going to give him speed up, isn't it? When he counter, yeah, when he eventually counterattacks. Cool. Yeah. Kind of saw that coming. Oh, and we didn't chain around enough because apparently he went right into Apocalypse. But hey, we might be able to one shot. I don't know. We might be able to just kill him. Will we be able to just kill him? Oh, no, we're not. But. Can we force him maybe like a counterattack with 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 no he's fucked oh no but we might be able to kill him here though before he gets his turn come on please oh we did i'm happy with that i'm happy with that the outcome was good we're gonna ability block forge we're down black knight though unfortunately Quicksilver's probably gonna make a mess of our team too because he's got the striker iso right yeah of course he does of course he does. Let's stun Gambit. We're down Black Knight, but hey, we still got our big heavy hitters. Uh, turn bar rewind. Uh, Nakia does a lot of damage, even though she's got offense down. Her rebounding is crazy. Can be pretty crazy. I'm afraid. I'm really afraid of that. That Quicksilver. <laughs> He's going to dismantle us slowly. Try to get as much damage in as we can to everyone. I don't think we're going to clear this run. I think this will be a solid four shot. We actually, you know what? Phi Lavelle could be cleansing over there. I don't think she's got an ability block now that I... Oh, she died. That's fine. Slows. There's no slows over here. There is now. That's fine. Offense up Quicksilver. Uh oh, uh oh. 
Counterattack does break the chain, I thought, though. Yeah, he's still got offense up. Fuck. Oh, yeah, you fucking... Those striker attacks. I got it. <laughs> I've talked about this before and how frustrating that is. Forge might end up... Forge has a lot of hit points here. I think Quicksilver is going to survive to the next go. Ten enemies left. Oh, we triggered another wave. Oopsies. Is that everyone? One, two, three, four, five. I think it is. So maybe we can just start killing people then. For better or for worse. I'm going down here pretty quick. That Moon Knight might, 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 maybe. Oh, uh, wrong target. I meant to hit Nakia, actually. And then kill that Moon Knight. Moon Knight, maybe he'll bleed out, though. Or maybe we can just kill him here. So eight. Okay, so unfortunately, Quicksilver is still up. Fortunately, Forge is still up as well. He was just kind of perma ability blocked for a while here, but I think at this point we just need to save our cooldowns, I think. That's what we're doing. And then next run we should be able to get it and then be able to move on to City shortly. Yeah, I'm going to die. That's fine. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, Forge is at like full cooldowns. Wow, we just got yeeted by Phyla Vell. That's fine. Eight enemies left. I knew that this was coming to an end here pretty shortly. And uh, that's some good progress, I think, as well. We're probably well over 200 million damage on that attempt, so so not bad overall, I think. And we're going to get locked. We're going to get somewhat blocked anyways from moving on to City. So I think that'll be... It is what it is there. Yeah, we did some pretty good damage. 340 million. I'm happy with that. Yep. All right, hopefully the next time we'll be able to finish this off here on Dark Dimension 7, node number 3. All right, everyone. We're getting back at it again here with Dark Dimension 7. Attack number four here on node number three. We might be able to finish this off, in fact, actually. There's just the final wave here to go, and I think it's just eight characters left. I think I did finish this by killing a few of them. I do like this setup. Now, I'm going to be forced to use Guardian and Global anyways, but I do like the two. I, you know, we're, we're buffing Super Scroll a little bit by having two villains and two heroes. I think that's probably the best setup, honestly, for this. Maybe, I don't know, should I put Apocalypse here just to, like, get hit by accident and get the speed up. Maybe that might be better. And maybe let's put Super Scroll in the middle, I guess, for reasons. And in case he gets stealth. And I guess that would be it. Peter B and Guardian getting uh, a little bit scrapped. So node number three, I did, I did prefer this version. I mean, if I'm going to use Super Scroll at all, I might as well try and balance it out. That way he gets some more damage, I believe, as part of the villain side of things. And turn bar reduction on a special, too, rather than being a bit of a lopsided split. So hopefully we can clear this, finish it up, walk away with our minis, and move on. That's another thing, you know, as of recording this, I'm going to have a lot of Mystic minis soon. I need to start thinking about where to use my goddamn Mystic stuff. Now, I'm going to go over on this side. I don't have that special, unfortunately. There we go. It's just three, actually. Maybe I should have gone over here, but let's let's try and get a... I, I think the Forge has his... I think he's got his cooldowns, right? I don't want him to do that. Maybe I might be able to ability block him some other way. That's kind of my hope, and I don't have a lot of abilities, so this kind of sucks. Do we have any other decent abilities here? Oh, wow. We stun Quicksilver. Let's try that again. <laughs> so if this doesn't work, and the same thing happens again, I might just take Black Knight out and put Guardian in as another hero replacement. Because otherwise, if he just dies like on turn one, he's not really doing anything. I guess so I'm wondering. I'm still going to do the same thing over here. Try to get these three. Think. Oh, we did chain to Gambit. That's nice, actually. But instead of stunning Gambit, can we stun Quicksilver? He's stunnable, right? Yeah. That's okay. And then, unfortunately, we're still going to be like, so I don't really want, I just want to control the field, but I don't really have any good cooldowns. That's part of the problem. Okay, so the stun was helpful, actually. The ability block, though, they can both cleanse. But I think Forge is, <laughs> they're all bad. Actually, if I trauma them, then they can't, right? 
and they can't clear it. So we might have to do that. And it's it just AoE slow for the characters who haven't taken their turn yet, I suppose. We could get a stun on... Could we get a stun on Quicksilver again, actually? Or is it going to push him to 50%? Uh, no, we got a stun on him. We can control him a little bit longer. And they all have... A lot of them have disrupt. Not all of them, but some of them have disrupt. I might just... Maybe we'll just yeet... Quicksilver? There we go. Maybe I'm like... I think he's the biggest threat, honestly. I, I don't like the pings, but... Okay, I'm pretty sure Deathlock spams that. I think I figured that out last time. But he, does he have glowy eyes? Because I can't even tell. I can't tell when the characters are glowing. Because on my screen, none of them are glowing. But we're going to go over here and go down the middle on Philovel. Even though Forge still has his alt. He might be able to block it with Scrawl. So I'm going to try and... We want to kill Gambit, though. Right, that's getting really irritating. But I think, yeah, we can, we, we can ability block him. So cool. We can just control these guys over here and then try to do a bunch of damage to Gambit. And that's kind of my plan. That's my plan. That's my plan. Solid plan. Let's beat up on Gambit. Okay, more damage. Uh, offense down over here and slows. Good, 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 good. And we're going to go over that way. And I think it's also going to adjacent on Philovel, actually. I think she's right next to you. Yeah, okay, more damage over there. That's good, too. Gambit has Disrupt, so we can't Stealth. Just going to hit into him a little bit more. Vulture taking those pings like a boss, and possibly probably going to die from that, but we'll see. Gonna go over there, I guess. Going to go that way. Ooh. Oh. Turn bar rewind, why not? Served his purpose. Can we kill Gambit before he kills my Vulture? That's the big question. <laughs> no, Gambit. Oh, he did. Okay, maybe. Maybe he might survive. Okay, so I'm going to ability block Deathlock. Stop him from... Well, yeah, he's going he's gonna to basic into Black Knight. Now, this is good. He's got Cyclops has a lot of charges. They, they're still ability blocks, so I'm going to do the special over here. I think Philovel's bit. Yeah, she's gonna bleed out. That's fine. And uh, we're just gonna control Forge. He's got two turns of ability block, so we're just gonna do maximum damage here. Now, I, you know, this is probably not going to matter. That I think I think the Hulkbusters have a ton of hit points, so I'm just gonna do this anyways. I think I should be able to get my turns back around, and it gives barrier, which is nice. I want to basically, you know, because scroll is going to be like way at the end of Dark Dimension 7, but I don't want to enter those nodes and be like, why is my cooldowns fucked up? So I'm going to try and do my best to like save my cooldowns at this point, I think. Where possible. Okay. And like, I don't think I need to do any of this stuff. Like I, I would probably use the, the special for Nightcrawler, but his ultimate is such a long cooldown that I don't want to really have to do that. All right, the stun cleared, but he bled quite a bit of damage, so I think he's just going to die. The special I'd be willing to use over here, I think. We'll do that. Knock back some more turn bar. That's cool. I think we'll get the special back, honestly. Uh, where did... Oh, I was like, where did he die? I think they got enough hit points that I can just use my basics here, and I can just slowly clear this. Forge still has an ability block, so cool. I'm cool with that. One more. Retaliate. And I'm hoping that basically by the time Forge gets back to his turn, he should be dead. Although he's not slowed. So let's keep an eye on that. But he's got bleeds. Yeah, bleed out. Let's finish him off just in case. Solid. Solid. And we can save our cooldowns, I think. For uh, the start of City, in this case, or their respective lanes. I think our cooldowns are fine. I, I hope Super Scroll Special's back. Anyways, 
That's node three. We've cleaned that up pretty nicely there and we got 25 more G19 mutant minis, a mega orb and a mega gold orb. Now we'll open that mega gold orb because I could always use some more gold. The mega orb, I think I might save until some more useful characters that I want to pull for. I think I might do that. Wait for the orb, the bumps. And then city, we're not really there for yet, unfortunately. But let's let's pull that mega gold orb and uh, let's see if we get anything decent. You never know, right? Boylan, Devlock, please, 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 please. Blue, no. And it's nothing that amazing. 1.25 million, unfortunately. So that's going to be it for Dark Dimension 7 Node 3, everyone. Thanks for coming. And I guess the next time these videos go up will be the city lane.